have hours gameplay, but I mean, I've never played this game before. Like, I've never even played it or just never even looked at the game. Okay, I'm Donatella. I don't usually look like this, okay? Um, I had LaBelle come over and she wanted to do like a goth theme thing. Um, so this is what I look like. Uh, yeah. Hey, blubbers. So this is what your museum could look like after 25 hours of playing the game. Yay. Woo! So we're going to start with the bug exhibit. So this is the entrance. As you can see on my right here, I've got the wasps. I, wasps don't scare me. Click that card to see why they do not scare me at all anymore. Ah, so here's some spiders. I, If you have arachnophobia, I'm so sorry. There's this and one other that you need to be worried about, but they're harmless there, look at them. After those wretched spiders, we have the Dana dragonfly. And it's just all chilling, look at it, it's so cute. Here we have the hermit crab, lovely docile little crab, doesn't do anything really, um, yeah, we'll walk up here. It is the long locust, I remember catching these things and I remember being a bit afraid of them because I didn't know what they were at first and it was just jumping everywhere and it was a nightmare to catch. I blurred that out for specific reasons, but I'm sorry if this scares you. Tarantulas, I hate them. I had to close my eyes during this because it just scares me. Here we have a beautiful moth. Moths are the underrated butterflies. Um, they still scare me, but you know, this is in the game. My favorite room, the butterfly room. So we have the common blue bottle here, the ladybug and the agrius butterfly. This room is just so beautiful to be in, especially during the day. We have the emperor butterfly, tiger butterfly and Raja Brooks birdwing. We come back to the main room of the bug exhibit now. We have a cup under the water. We also have a giant water bug. Just up here above the pond, we have the mantis, stink bug, and hiding away in the trees, we have a man-faced stink bug and honeybee. This is the jill beetle and the citrus longhorn beetle. The way they are beautifully displayed in the museum gives us a little hint as to how to catch them for ourselves. If you want to catch one of these bugs, you need to chop down a tree, but don't dig up the stump. Leave the stump as it is, and in a while, you'll be able to see a bug land on there and you can catch it with your net. I think the next exhibit is usually a favourite for people. It's the aquarium. So welcome to my aquarium. Again, this is only after playing for 25 hours, so it might not be the most impressive. This is a sturgeon. When I caught it, I thought it was a swordfish. Maybe it is one. Someone can let me know, maybe. Here we have the pale chub, the dace, and another carp. I think it's going to be a surprise for me when I find out what goes in that massive tank. Um, just a quick thing. If you are liking this video as much as I am, please like and subscribe. That really helps. And I'll be posting more museum vlogs. Mm. The black bass. Is it bass or bass? And then there's a carp. Again, I don't know how many I've caught or, or what. It, they, they are everywhere. They are just, yeah. This is the deep sea part of the aquarium. Um, right here, all alone in this massive tank is the horse mackerel. Such a tiny fish for such a big tank. I'm, again, I'm not actually too sure what else goes with this but i'm sure it's a predator even deeper in the sea we have the football fish um does anyone play pokemon by any chance it this reminds me of that one pokemon um yeah and i actually always thought it was cute but this the animal crossing version doesn't seem as cute
Up here we have the butterfly fish and the sea aminone. We are still within the deep sea part, so these are all things you would have caught in the ocean. We have a sea cucumber here, which just looks like... Yeah, anyways, I'm looking for Nemo, you know, a clownfish. When I find Nemo, you guys will be the first to know. I'm in a water tunnel. I've always wanted to be in something like this. So surrounding me, we have the sea bass and the barred knife jaw. I would have called it something like a zebra fish or something, or zebra fish. Here we have the dab fish, dark fish, dab. Um, they're kind of like a stingray, they, yeah. Um, yeah. Right at the bottom of the aquarium exhibit, we have the turban shell, the sea star, seahorse, and acorn barnacle, which not to sound too much like a nerd, but again, Pokemon reference, like, okay, there's, there's others that are pretty obvious, but the acorn barnacle here, hmm. Last but not least, uh, I've forgotten the guppy. And to be honest, I think this is the most beautiful fish in my aquarium. Like, look at them, they are gorgeous. Up next, we have the fossil exhibit. The entrance is kind of cool. Um, not much going on, a lot of rocks, um, a lot of unidentifiable things that I just can't identify. For the main room here, I'll just take you through a little point of view walkthrough. We have the Plesiosaurus, looking like a snake. We then have the Archelon, Quetzalcoatlus, and a Pteranodon. Diplodocus, which I think that's just the back end of it. Now this I find so interesting, I think that's the meteorite, you know, the one that, um, off them all. We have the Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus. The Iguanodon, which just makes me think of an iguana. This one was difficult, it's Pachycephalosaurus. Yep. A lovely dinosaur track, and then a coprolite. Mr. T-Rex, a Spinosaurus, which literally just looks like a spine stretched out, if that makes sense. The Brachiosaurus, more of the Diplodocus, then onto the Dimetrodon, Demon? Dimetrodon. From what I can see, that is actually just like where that meteorite, the rock, entered the Earth's atmosphere, which is kind of a cool thing. And then last but not least, we have the Archaeopteryx. This is the final part of the fossil exhibit. We've got the mammoth, a saber-toothed tiger, which th that pairing kind of reminds me of Ice Age. And finally, the Megacerops. I love this whole eat type of villager cutout thing along here. I look at the cat one and I just think of my villager Tangy and she's great. So 
So that was the fossil exhibit. Now onto my most favourite, favourite one, the art gallery. Yeah, um, 25 hours in, I, I don't, I don't have anything to fill this beautiful art gallery, unfortunately. I mean, you guys could be the art. Smile. Oh, um. So, thankfully, I actually do have one piece of artwork, just one, and it's the scary painting, which fits perfectly because I am dressed as a goth. Animal Crossing New Horizons scary painting is Otani Oniji the Third as Yako Edabe, and it's a woodblock print by Sharaku from 1794. Well, that's the end of this museum tour vlog. Thank you so much, so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon on my channel. If you made it to the end, please leave a black cat emoji in the comments.